That week, manager Mark McGee decided to leave Reading. He'd been with the club for three and a half years. His assistants, Colin Lee and Mick Hickman, went too. They chose to join Leicester City and their forlorn struggle against relegation. At Elm Park, chairman John Medeski passed control of the playing matters to his senior professionals. <laughs> Reading's first match after Mickey's departure could hardly have been bigger. Wolves were the visitors to Elm Park and a victory could have lifted Graham Taylor's side to the top. It was one of the season's outstanding matches in Division 1 the ITV cameras were there to witness it, with commentators Theo Foley and Brian Moore. It's a corner again, a deeper and a better one this time. And it's gone in from Steeple. Well, that's a great start for Wolverhampton Wanderers after losing Steve Froggart. A perfectly floated corner, and there he is again. Completely on his own, and certainly there have been loads and loads of questions asked at half-time. That was a splendid header, but my goodness, how did he get that much space? Parkinson, a long-range shot wide of the Wolves goal there by the fullback Dylan Kerr. I can only say that Steve Bowles' importance and his presence in the again. box. Yeah. What an amazing record he's had. It's something like 325 league games at Wolverhampton and now 192 league goals. The Wolf, nice little touch there. Ferguson playing it well to Emblem. Found a yard for himself there as well. Back again by Ferguson to De Wolf. Up to ranking this time. But away go uh, ready again. Stuart Lovell picking out Scott Taylor. Men are waiting at the far side. The flick on and a goal. Yes. Simon Osborne. What a wonderful goal. That was a wonderful goal. Terrific header there. Beyond uh, Stahl. I could watch that all day long. Superb. That's a great goal. So simple. Parkinson making the break now. Hit long towards Jimmy Quinn. And it's 2 1 ready. Made by that brilliant break down the right. And the faithful head of Jimmy Quinn makes it 2 1. Parkinson's cross. He's been doing that for years. He, he got left with a little right back. The little boy Smith, he had no chance in the air against him, Brian. They're trying to unsettle Red, and they've got a bit of wind behind them as well. There's uh, Goodman. Ferguson trying to get in there, he might get pulled in here. Good save! And then Smith knocks it over. Terrific bit of goalkeeping though by Shaka Hislop. Pull up to certainty there. I know one on one against ones aren't always as easy as they sometimes look. But you would have put a lot of money on uh, Steve Bull scoring there, but he made ground very quickly indeed in Hislop. Ferguson gets it clear to Goodman. Still with Goodman. Knocked it towards Steve Ball. Mills is arriving! 
saying another good save by Hisler. And that really was just as difficult as the first. He really had to adjust, and he's a big man, and he got down so quickly. That was a great save again. Terrific. He's very, very agile for such a big fella. There. Jukes playing it in. Venus will need to get there. De Wolf will need to get there and does. Oh, fantastic shot there by Lovell. Came off the post. Quinn looking to get in shooting range. Kerr again. Good spell this for Reading. The fullback with a shot. Terrific shot though against the uh, woodwork again for Reading. Jokes. What a great cross. And plays it in. Venus tries to get it away. De Wolf eventually does get it away. But then it's whacked back there by Lovell. In the best Mark Hughes tradition. It's been a, a super game in the Ensley First Division here. Ferguson playing it in. And it's just touched in there. It could straight in but it's 2-2 two -two. I think that's gone in you know boy. I think that's gone straight in they're running to Goodman well here's Ferguson they're running to Goodman yes if he got a touch it was the slimmest of touches it's glanced off the defender and here's goodness this might tell us yes it might in fact have come off Jimmy Quinn yeah. he won't get the job <laughs> Goodman. Taylor now for Reading. Oh, the Wolves in trouble. That's going to go in. Jokes and finishes it off, and the uh, Reading. He's clearly fouled by the wall. Let it go on. That is an absolutely splendid goal. Lovell shot. Jokes finishes it off. I could score him from there. I'm sure you could as well. What a great, what a great game this is. Well, I suppose. It's going better and better. Okay, let's talk about man of the match very uh, quickly, uh, Theo. Who do you go for? I'm going to go for the keeper, the Reading keeper, Hislop. Shaka Hislop. Yep. The Reading keeper. And the reason is simple. I just felt that his save when Steve Ball was through just after the beginning of the second half was terrific. And then he made another one just after that. Yeah. And the ball moves. Well, here's Hartenberger now with Quinn available for him. And Jokes coming up fast. And here's a possibility and a good save. He's there. As Quinn plays that ball in superbly, great work by Stahl, but very persistent play by Michael Jilks. 4-2 the score. He's had a great second half, hasn't he? Michael Jilks, you know that about this. is a great ball. Lovely ball. Good save. And a good finish. Well, a thoroughly entertaining game of football from the first division here. And Michael Jilks really epitomising it all with that winner right at the end for Reading and the uh, man of the match the Reading goalkeeper Shaka Hislop final score Reading 4 Wolverhampton Wanderers 2